everybody welcome back to my channel it's Christy Rockstick so all right so I decided I wanted to vlog today and if you've been following me on my Instagram at Christy Rockstick so shameless plug <laughs> you know all about what's happening so go ahead and follow me over there so you can stay updated anyways I threw my back out last Monday today's Monday so it's been a full week and so then I stand here for a little bit and then I just start walking to the restroom because that's all I do is walk to the restroom. I look crazy. I'm all hunched over. As you can see, my knees don't go straight. Uh -oh. So I turn backwards and I walk into the restroom backwards. I gotta pull my pants down slowly. Oi! Oh. Alright. Then I have to grab onto the door here. Oh shit! Oh. And then I go restroom. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What part? Uh, a vertebrae or, or <laughs> what portion? Spinal. And I am starting to feel better. However, I'm not 100% back to normal. So today I'm going to be dyeing my hair and I just want to show you my little setup that I have going on here. So here's my chair. This chair has been a lifesaver. I've been using it as a walker. So, so um, I did go ahead and put a black savanna over it because I'm going to be sitting on it because there's no way I could stand right now for that long. I also have a pillow under there for some cushion for my back. And don't mind this towel, it's old and I use it for hair dyeing, you know, as you can see the bleach. So here <laughs> so I have here all of my products. I already uh, poured in my developer, my brush, my gloves here, and then my hair color. Um, so I'm gonna dye my hair and I need to sit down because your girl's been standing for quite a bit now. But I need to change out of my clothes because I don't wanna get my um, my sports bra, you know, uh, stained with the uh, hair dye so I'm gonna go ahead and put on something different and then I'm going to dye my hair and then we'll see what else I vlog for the day good morning everybody so I guess today there was an earthquake at like 4 in the morning here in California I didn't feel it yeah. I that's the only thing remaining of Easter I just I don't know where to store that well I have a spot but I just I haven't put it away today's gonna be the day I put this sucker away but um he's still standing he's like the only thing left from Easter anyways I'm here in the kitchen and I am prepping dinner so I have my meat here in some water and vinegar and I do soak it for about 20 minutes and I just get it nice and clean. And I'm going to be making shredded tacos. So I'm going to be putting this in the crock pot. It's going to be so easy and low maintenance and it's going to be so yummy. So yeah, I'm going to take you along for the ride. So as you know, my back has been out. Look at the way I have to sit on things. I cannot sit back or else I'm never getting up. <laughs> But um, my back is feeling better today. Um, it's been already two full weeks since my back has been out. And I'm just over it. I'm ready for my back to uh, get better. And it's horrible because it's so painful. Um, I was working out. I was, you know, getting my fitness on. And... All of a sudden, I sat down, I got up, and once I got up, my back went stiff. I couldn't really move. So, that happened. I was able to put my meat in the crock pot. So, here's what it's looking like. I just put it in right now. I do make my own little roux to put in here. And then here is the meat right here. So this is gonna go ahead and cook for about five hours on high. Um, if you guys want me to do a full dedicated uh, video on how I make this, then let me know down below and I will do that for you. So yeah, 
let's see what else I get into. I think I need to um, eat something because your girl's hungry and then probably take a shower. So it's been a couple of hours since I last vlogged, but my meat is all done. Oh yeah. So yummy. It's nice and tender. I already um, shredded it earlier. So good. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make some queso taco. It's basically like a quesadilla, but you know, I'm gonna make those. So it's basically like a quesadilla, but with meat inside and my special sauce, and you'll see. All right, and over here, I am soaking my cilantro 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 cabrona <laughs> i'm soaking my cilantro and my um what is this called in english pues cabbage there we go so i'm soaking my cabbage in some water and some vinegar because i like to disinfect my stuff so once this is soaked for about 20 minutes then i'll go ahead and rinse it all off with some cold water and then i'll cut it all up and it's gonna be so bomb i can't wait to show you it's gonna be so good so I'm in the process of making the tacos right now and they're so bomb, so bomb. If you guys want a full recipe, let me know. All right, so this is how I prepare them. Look at how yummy this is. Get a close up of that, get a close up of that. Oh my God. All right, so you get your cilantro, cilantro, you get your onions, oh, so yummy. Look at that, cheese pull, yes. Yummy. Am I making you guys hungry? Are you hungry? Very much so. <laughs> All right, so. That's that. I'm gonna add some salsa and some lemon. So here's the salsa. It's a little frozen because I, um, my mom makes a lot and then freezes it. I don't really like a lot of chile because my mom makes it super spicy. But I do like it in here for flavor. So then you put a little bit like me or you could put a lot like you like it. And then you get the lemon, you squeeze the lemon in there, you take that seed out, those seeds. All right, then you get your taco, you get your taco, and you dip it in this sauce. Oh my gosh, and then you mm. eat it. Mm. 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 I'm here in my makeup room, and I just bought 19 new gel polishes because your girl is getting into doing nails. So, you know, during this quarantine, um, I had to learn how to do my own nails, but I didn't really have any gel polishes. I had a few, but I mainly have just regular nail polishes. So your girl needed to um, re-up on her uh, gel polishes. So I just watched about 19 nail polishes and I have them all like <laughs> set up, you know, I have a little labels on them. So here's all the colors that I have so far. Can you tell which ones are my favorite? I think I'm a pink girl and a nude girl. I love, I love this whole row right here from the, this but yeah. pink. So as you can see, I just, I love nudes and I love pinks. I love all of these colors. <laughs> That's why I picked them. I feel like I'm missing like maybe um, maroon and more gray. I don't know but my collection's gonna grow in time but for now i'm just i'm loving these so i did do my own nails i really love them i am practicing on myself and i did this hand here i love this hand everybody likes this one my hands are so dry i need some lotion i've been washing my hands non-stop so they're a little dry but i love these and yeah, so I have my whole little setup. I'm here in my makeup room. Here's my nail polishes. And then 
and here is some more nail polishes over here so your girl has a whole little setup so that's where i do my makeup and over here is where i do my nails i have it all set up you know your girl's over here with her reggaeton music i love reggaeton so that's what i'm doing right now but i think i'm done my girl my girl your girl's vertigo is kind of fucking with her now so i gotta go lay down like i was but saying um, your girl has vestibular neuritis. Um, if you've never heard of it, you can look it up. Um, basically, um, you get really dizzy. Uh, you can have episodes uh, that last for months, years, weeks, days. Um, Overexerting yourself can be a trigger. Um, if I don't rest, when I'm gone, usually that's what I'm dealing with because I'm just not feeling well. But I never shared it because I don't know. I don't know why I never shared it. I just never really opened up. But I'm opening up now. And um, I'm opening up because I'm starting to feel it today um, for the past couple of days. And I just figured, you know, I'm going to share with you guys. You know, so you guys can know that your girl is broke. And <laughs> it's a scary thing because it's never going to go away. Some people, it does go away. Um, and some people, it never goes away you will forever have it for the rest of your entire life and the only thing that I've researched that kind of works is um, physical therapy I was doing physical therapy for a while um, but I stopped and I probably should do it again I stopped only because I started to feel better so I feel like I'm going on and on about this but if you guys are interested in a full dedicated video and now that I'm talking about it I really do feel like I want to make a dedicated video for this for anybody that is suffering from vertigo i mean vertigo yeah vertigo and vestibular neuritis um because it's always nice to hear other people's um testimony of what they're going through how they manage um is it gonna go away is it not gonna go away i don't I don't, I don't know. So if anything, just please send me prayers um, that this goes away because I don't wish this on anybody, like anybody. I don't care if you hate me. I, I, don't, I don't have no enemies personally. Um, I don't hate anybody or dislike anybody, you know. So, but, you know, if I did, I wouldn't wish this on them. I wouldn't because it's it's disgusting it's horrible it's unpredictable it's debilitating um it's horrible so yeah um but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna lay down now so i can get some rest but if i don't continue to record i will see you next time and yeah keep your girl in your prayers and until next time exo till i overdose Bye! <laughs>